Hello, my name is Adiyemi Clueless Junkie. In this video, I'll be showing you how to calculate the quantity of reinforcements needed for a typical staircase. At the end of this video, you should be able to calculate the rebars needed for a typical afternoon staircase. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, I'll be happy to respond. And for the staircase rebar, we are going to do the main bars and the distribution bars. Firstly, we'll start with the first flight. Uh, it looks typical like this, flight 1. For the flight 2, we'll do that separately and um, we'll do for the intermediate landing as well. So for the first flight, a bar bending schedule for the staircase rebar will detail the specific length and the type of rebar and uh, the bending details for the main bars. So moving on, the main bars, the details and the dimensions for the rebars are added and uh, if we add those up, it gives us the length for that main bar. So add these values up and in this instance I'm getting 7.182 meter for one of that. How many bars in the first flight? We have about seven. So seven lengths of 12 meter rod with a 4.81 off cut. We do for the additional rebar and then that's 600 millimeters and uh, plus 600 millimeters that's about 1.2 meter we use two off cuts from above that's from the 4.818 then we'll do the distribution bars how many distribution bars are on the first flight and uh, each distribution bar is about 1.175 meter and there are 24 units in the first flight We'll do 24 multiplied by 1.175 and that gives 28.2 meter. If we divide 28.2 by 12 meter average rod length to invariably give us two lengths of 12 meter iron. We'll move on and do for the intermediate landing. The distribution bar is about 2.4 meter going from the floor plan. We'll specify that distribution bar 2.4 meter how many units of that there's about 10 units of those on the intermediate landing so the 2.4 multiplied by 10 that gives 24 meter 24 meter divided by 12 meter average or length and that's about two length of 12 meter rods for the intermediate landing the so next thing we'll move on to the second flight these details are to be found in the bar bending schedule. So we'll take the, if we break those apart, we've got three bar, three main bars to extrapolate. We'll take the main bar for the second flight and then get the details from the bar bending schedule for the staircase rebar. Now we'll add these specific values that are specifying the bend, bending details and all. Then add those values up and uh, that gives 7.93 meter for the main bar in the second flight. What's the number of main bars in the flight? There's about seven of it and uh, that invariably means we need seven lengths of 12 meter rod. It's going to be about 4.07 meter off cuts. So moving on to the other bar is also a main bar and um, adding those values up would get uh, 2.452 meter seven units we use uh, of course from first flight main bars and then the additional rebar this one down there as 600 millimeter plus 600 millimeter 
that's a 1.2 meter and there is seven of that seven units we use off cuts from above moving on to the distribution bars for the second flight the the number of distribution bars in the second flight is roughly 29 units if you multiply 29 by 1.175 that gives the 4.075 meter divide that by 12 meter that gives a uh, roughly three lengths of 12 meter rods then we'll move on to the rebar chair we add the values of that these details are actually gotten from the bar bending schedule to so add these values up that's 2.495 for each rebar for each chair and then six of them that gives 14.97 meter divide 14.97 by 12 meter which is average length of rod and that gives a roughly two length of iron we we'll collate that first flight main bars is about seven lengths of iron so we'll specify that on the list and then the white end which is the distribution bars we'll put two lengths there we we'll have of course white of of course in that for the intermediate landing there's about two lengths of y10 or whichever type of rebar is being used you specify that under it and then the second flight we've got seven lengths of 12 meter rods and uh, we'll come to we'll go to the list and we'll specify seven and then for the distribution bar there's about three lengths you put there and then for the remark we we'll specify the off cuts remaining then the rebar chairs is roughly two lengths of 12 meter iron so we we'll put the we we'll specify that also on the list so we'll put two there so we're going to add these values the number of white of iron needed is 14 and then for the y10 iron we need nine lengths of that and then the of course will also be specified 4.07 meter of course about four units of that thank you for watching i hope you learned a thing please do not hesitate to leave a comment and subscribe join if possible i'll be happy to have you as a member of this channel ciao